so guys on today's video i'm going to be sharing things to know about nigerian and nigerians <laughs> so if you're interested don't forget to stay tuned sit back relax and let's get right into this video Welcome again. In case you are seeing my face for the first time, hi, what's up? I'm Sophia Achi. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing things to know about Nigerian and Nigerians. Nigeria is blessed with everything you can think of entertainment, delicious food, the calm and charming atmosphere, its vibrant culture, sense of humor. Nigeria has become the giant of Africa. In more ways than just the population size. So here are some ways to inspire or make you add Nigerian to your travel needs. My number one is weddings are the sacred part of cultural life and activity, but also an excuse to show off the fantabulous clothing, the dance moves, and the music. You have wished your bestest birthday, and you are not married or just yet. The elders will embarrass you than the eye. Which is why barely a week goes by without someone having a traditional wedding ceremony somewhere. The two is masquerade. Masquerade are a high aspect of Nigerian culture. And these masks consume figures and say to embody spirits. Nowadays, they add up at entertainment and appear during weddings and festivals especially Christmas time. These masks move, travel through villages, performing dance, reciting incantations, chasing terrified villagers with bow, arrows, and whips. So please get ready to get on your feet to go on. And in some, in some parts of women are not allowed to see some of these masquerades because they have different types of it. In some places, women are not allowed to see some type of masquerades. Number three, we are crazy about cars. We love cars, especially the luxury and the latest model. Ah, we even celebrate cars just as we celebrate the birth of a new baby. Like new, it can also be Tokumbo, but for us, a new car is a new car. Number four. We love shortcuts. Shortcuts. Lots of Nigerians are passionate about the fastest ways to achieve success. Number five, we cannot wait for public holidays. Who doesn't like holidays? This is the time we abandon the office work. Forget the worries of school activities or school work and indulge in socializing. Drinking and eating food. We wish holidays are every day. For Christmas to New Year, for Workers' Day to Democratic Day, and other religious breaks that we can't wait for it to come. Yes, and my number six family is our number one. Family is not an important thing, but it is everything. No matter how busy we may be, we don't do it with our family. And the bond is so strong and can't be caught by strangers, just so you know. Number seven, proverb sense. Nigerians love good proverb and we never stop to invent new ones. Like, monkey no fine, but mama like it, which is an ugly monkey is loved by the mother. I hope I got that right. I don't know. I will check. I will check it and do the correction on the screen. Um, if you can't dance, you better don't get caught. Hmm? And there is other one. Um, the man, a man being carried, does not know how far the town really is. It takes someone with a high proverbial sense to understand what they are really talking about. Honestly, me, whenever I'm being in that kind of situation, I totally lose it. Like, I don't, I, I'm lost. I don't understand what is happening, what is going on. I don't just get it, honestly. 
to pull up people who are old Nigerians. Huh? Number eight, making the best of go slow. That is um traffic jam. Yeah, that is another name for another name for traffic jam in Nigeria. It's called go slow. Yes, and if you yes go slow can can delay your journey, but it doesn't stop you from shopping <laughs> from the comfort of your car. All you have to do is just roll roll the glasses down. And call the attention. Like a few days ago, I bought um this car phone holder <laughs> from a traffic jam. Okay, you may you may not know. Just roll down, call the attention, and ask for whatever you get it. Honestly, it's not funny. Go slow. Traffic jam in Nigeria. Number nine is party time. Party time. You can feel the vibe when you see Man, the weekend air in Nigeria. <laughs> your feet, your legs can disappoint you when it's tapping to the sound of music coming from events, parties. Honestly, it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. See the different attires that should be, the DJs, uh, the music itself. Hmm. The party time in Nigeria is the best, especially weekends. It's the best. It's the best. Number ten is free vibes. Awu, awu is the name of every free thing that Nigerians get. Thing that does cost us money is what we Nigerians can't be ignored. And we can even fight for it. We can fight to get our own share of the free gifts. <laughs> Number eleven. Nigerians love traveling out of the country. It doesn't matter where they are going to, even if it's Ghana, South Africa, South America, as long as their feet steps out of this country, they are happy. We are happy. Those people even when they were leaving the country, they will take your picture. And they will practically make you their king. Honestly. We love, love traveling out of this country. We love leaving the country for anything. Number 12 is, we are everywhere with social media. Don't even leave us in a boring environment with our cell phone. <laughs> because honestly, we won't even feel it. We can Facebook in religious places, the most sacred places. <laughs> we are always online. We don't need to read the papers, know what is happening around us. As long as we have our phone at hand, our cell phone at hand. Nigerians are most passionate about. Ah, we can have a, we can have an event in the next three two months, three two months, and we already have the attire, the outfit for that event. Like, don't even think of attending an event with a Nigerian or and going to a Nigerian event without properly dressed. <laughs> you will go there feeling like an alien. Trust me, like you will be so lost. So we don't joke with passion. Yes, we don't joke with that. And I hope this video will help you add Nigerian to your travel list. Yes, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Trust me, honestly, it's worth it. And this comes to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And also to my non-Nigerian friends, I hope this video will make it add mm, Nigerian to your travel list. I just hope. I don't know. I don't know, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll really enjoy it. Trust me, it's worth it. Huh? Uh, I didn't mention other things about Nigeria because I really don't have the knowledge about them. I just mentioned the ones I personally know and I can really, really relate to it. Don't forget to click the like button, subscription button, and don't forget to on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a video. I love you guys always. <laughs> Bye.